no matter how much you've got in your account, your debit card could soon be denied for purchases more than 50 bucks. Our Stephanie Elam has that story. Steph, tell us what's going on. Yeah, this just sounds crazy, Suzanne, to a lot of people out there. One of the largest uh, banks in the country is reportedly considering capping your debit card purchases. A source tells CNN Money that J.P. Morgan Chase is thinking about capping debit transactions at 50 or 100 bucks for each one you do that. And why they're th even talking about doing this? It's because banks are going to be getting a lot less in so-called interchange fees. Every time you swipe your debit card, your bank charges the store about 44 cents. That adds up to about 16 billion dollars a year for the banks but under financial reform set to take effect this summer those fees are being slashed and capped at 12 cents uh, per each transaction now banks say that will only cover the administrative costs and they say they need a lot more to help offset the cost of fraudulent transactions you know if someone steals your debit card and then they go and they run up a bunch of expenses well you get that money back and that's what they're saying they need help with um, on that one so the, the run up in the fake charges is their concern here and that's what they have to do to make sure that they protect themselves that's why they might start capping purchases and if chase does this suzanne it wouldn't be surprising to see other banks follow along so Seth, if we see start seeing these limits on debit purchases well how is that going to impact consumers do you think yeah, when you look at this issue, this is really about a battle between the banks and between the government because the banks don't want to see this going down to 12 cents, but the, at the same time, the government is saying, look, you're getting too much money out of this already. So this really would just hurt the people in the middle, so the David who's in the middle of this battle here, especially those people who rely on debit cards. Otherwise, people will have to start writing checks, maybe taking cash out the ATM, or then going to the credit cards. But all of these have a lot of downsides and everyone can't actually qualify for a credit card. Also, they have some steep interest rates. So maybe people don't want to deal with that or afford that. ATMs, you can only take out so much in a given day. And what if you're about to go buy something that costs thousands of dollars? These are all questions that haven't been answered yet. Checking accounts, they've got a lot of fees as well. And the idea of going back to checks for a lot of people, Suzanne, <laughs> just sounds like we're moving in the wrong direction. So we'll be keeping our eyes on it. All right. Thanks, Steph. I appreciate that.